Always better than what people think. Now it's third and 13. Allen steps up. Allen hit from behind. T.J. Watt, the ball is free. Loose football. Steelers believe they got it. Recovered by the defense. Cameron Hayward on the recovery. Look at Watt, number 90. He didn't feel like he played very well against Darrell Williams last year. Roethlisberger, 188 passing yards and a touchdown. Flag is down. Allen is dumped by T.J. Watt. <laughs> and Watt saying, don't take the flag, give me the sack. They will stack receivers Go. off to the right of Carr. Fake the handoff, rush coming. Carr is engulfed, and he coughs it up. A fumble on the strip by Watt. The fumble recovered by the offense. Raiders have it. Second down. John Simpson came out of the pack with the football. Just the just the constant. Can do a lot of it too, and they're doing a good job spelling them a lot too. Here's second and goal. Rodgers falls, trying to get out of traffic. Got tripped up. Hand off. Jones, ball comes out, recovered by T.J. Watt. Now, as soon as you think it's about to get away from you and the game's about to be over. He is paying dividends for this Broncos offense. He was the third running back taken this year. Harris for Pittsburgh was the first, and how about that play? Who else but T.J. Watt, the highest paid defender in the National Football League? Have as Watt is going to create, you know, pressure in the backfield, and that's Noah Fant, a guy that's an incredibly skilled or talented tight end from a running standpoint. Going to throw for it. Smith has his pass knocked down. T.J. Watt. To go make a play. Here he is. All right, let's go. And we already talked about it. Those Watts have long arms, man. They have a way of just figuring out where they're. To kind of make a name for himself once again at age 31. Got a chance here tied at 31. Collins, T.J. Watt. Rolls around to get him. Ball was fumbled by Collins. You saw that beanbag thrown in. He got back on it. Past halfway in this fourth quarter. Inside give Collins. Good stop up front. Isaiah Loudermuth, the rookie, began it. He gave no room for Collins to spring free to the linebackers. And then Watt said enough of that. Third down. Go. Third and four. Steelers bringing five. In trouble, Watts. Brings him down. Maybe the last time your offense sees the ball. Geno Smith will drop deep. He'll pump. He'll take it. Lost the football. Knocked out by one. Recovered by Devin Bush, who circles the right way. He almost lost the ball. But he's got it at the 16. And the Smith fumble forced by the defensive star, T.J. Watt. Third and goal. Looking left, now in trouble, in traffic, he's taken down, back at the 13, and quickly back to his feet. It's a perfect time for them to see if they can just hand it right up the middle. Has to cut outside with a chub. Chubb is shut down, he didn't even get back to the line. And the Steelers able to make the stop and take it away on down. Watch right here, you see... Hayward disrupts the entire play and pushes 97 for the steal. Hands spilling in for him. And he has been in there a couple of games. Like Pack went out and the Den Mayfield runs into TJ Watt, the last guy he wanted to see. Loss of five. You can just see this division is going to go all the way to the wall. Yeah. And three teams will make it. You watch. There's Mayfield in second and eight. And it's Landry. He lost the ball at the end. Oh my goodness. No. Schobert, the former Brown, broke it up. And who else but TJ Watt has the football in his hands? All the way down to about the Pittsburgh 20. The Browns cough it up, but the Steelers recover. Got the spot there and got the first down. Oh. Fields out of the gun. Got a piece of him, not enough, but now he's dragged down. Back of the 42. Who else? T.J. Watt for the Steelers. Second down and eight. Pressure. Didn't see it. 
Watt got there. T.J. Watt, second sack of the night. It was rush four. Fields wanted to run the whole time, and he was taken down. T.J. Watt, his third sack of the night. Can you get a quick five on it out? Fields, that's what they were thinking. It's batted down at the line of scrimmage. T.J. Watt continues to fill up the stat sheet. But now it's going to give him an opportunity to... And remains in there on first and goal Lions. Swift, nothing there, brought down right away. T.J. Watt made sure he didn't get further to the goal line and a timeout for the Lions. Goff, he is going to be sacked. And there's T.J. Watt, 12 and a half sacks this year. Moving ahead of Miles Garrett, unless he has something in that New England game. And T.J. Second series coming up for Lamar Jackson and company. And here's a handoff to McCrary, who they just brought up off the practice squad. Nate McCrary. He can take a sack once in a while. That's okay. They're lying, you know, all these things. They're not going to be great every year. Second and five, and he's in trouble now. They got him for a second sack. It's T.J. Watts. Is, and that's the number one seed in the AFC. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense. And I got a question for you after this play. Second and eight. Got a hand on him. Oh, and they were able to double team and Watt comes over to finish it off. It was Warmly who got to him first. He's having a big day. Duvernay shifting around. Jackson looks him off. And Watt has hold of him. And he'll not let him go any further. Sacks him at the 20. But that timeout's going to be more key going on. You got to get rid of this ball when they keep coming after you here, Lamar. Second and 10. They're on him. And the ball comes out. It's running to the sideline. It'll be Baltimore retaining possession. Stripped away by T.J. Watt. But the flags will check those. You don't. If not, you fake it. You move around. And then you just throw it. Someone in the back of the end zone. Tannehill. He has the time. And finally... They get to him back at the 15, and it's T.J. Watt and Greg Hayward. He comes back. He stays over here. He comes down. It's a third and 13. Watt coming after him, and he is sacked back at the 18. From the 36, he lost the snap. Ball's on the ground. Oh, oh this is says they have ball. it. Who's ball? Oh, that's forgotten. I thought Foreman had jumped in there in time. Play that's going to kill. Just that snap right there. It's just you can't have these mistakes. Go get it. Oh, Ryan, go get it. Well, Foreman, too. Foreman slipped Foreman as he was slipped. trying to make a dive for it. Ryan sees right him, and he's like, okay, get it. And at this point, now it's too late. They have turned it over now three times on their last ten snaps. T.J. Watt swings him around and brings him down. The NFL sack leader. Pressure from the Steelers. Mayfield in trouble. He's going to be taken down. Who else but T.J. Watt? Kevin Stefanski, who I like a lot. He is a... Oof. There's T.J. Watt. That's... And there's sack number four for Watt. 20 years ago. This I mean, is, this is why you're not throwing the ball down the field. Yeah, well, I mean, are you going to give Dave, Dave yeah. Hudson a rookie some help yeah. against the guy who's one of the baddest pass rushers in the NFL? Yeah. I mean, that's what you get. TJ's brother, Derek, saving the touchdown from the 23. Now Mahomes on the run, and it's going to be picked off. Deflected and picked off, and back to the 30-yard line goes Devin Bush. Pleaded his case to no avail. Williams is now the back. He drops it. Again. And again. Second time. And it's picked up by T.J. Watt with the play alive into the end zone. He goes. Hardman was in Wildcat. They run a trick. A spy on Patrick Mahomes. The spy was nowhere to be found. Bring a fullback burden in for the first time. And McKinnon gets stopped. Man, oh man, when you see 90 and 97 there, you know you got two all, all pros, Hayward and Watt.